Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone 4, Fury Reich and Imperial United Kingdom. Last episode, we just begun this campaign by beating down the civil war in India and managed to, well, make sure that, well, our British right took over and, well, pretty easily won a nice victory over there. After that, we pull back all our soldiers, soldiers back to United Kingdom and, well, we have some things to go through right now. So, first thing is, well, actually a very important thing. Apparently, all five of these, like all the three democratic paths right here and the military junta and God Save the Queen are all mutually exclusive. I did not understand that. I thought you picked one of these three and then one of these two. But apparently that's not it. You won of all of these. So thank you chat or chat. Thank you for thank you for the comments that actually told me that. God, I would have been so pissed picking this and then well being completely screwed. Maybe I would have noticed it by the event. It seems like I need an event first here. Yeah, that well, an event about the parliament, and I might have noticed, oh crap, but thank you guys for telling me, this is like the information I really, really need. Now I know how I should focus and how to progress further. So yeah, we're gonna get an event about parliament at some point, and then we need to make sure that King Edward VIII have dissolved the parliament. Yeah, good. Okay, uh, otherwise you want me to do a collaboration with the Rambler, ISP, Drew, and others? That would be awesome. Time. Time would be needed, but yeah, that would be really awesome. I agree with you. Uh, let's see. Uh, tell me about the, the issues. Parliament, Ottoman Empire, our biggest threat, Emperor George V, 1936. Wasn't he, wasn't he the guy who died, like, a couple days after? <laughs> uh, next episode, I suggest you go on Ecolo and Nikki. Uh, economic stimulus rather than austerity measures on the London market collapse, because it's more worth it. Trust me. This London market collapse is a very serious situation. So, you want me to go... Instead of going down economic stim... Uh, austerity measures, you want me to go eco economic stimulus. Okay, let's see. Uh, here we get... Minus 5 stability and minus 10% consumed goods. I think I, that's why I said I'm gonna pick this one. But uh, it's only actually for 365 days. Okay, let's see. Uh, remove a bunch of civilian factories. Holy shit. Uh, reduce military budget. That's... Also pretty goddamn bad, but well, it's uh, just a modify on the London con uh, mo London market collapse. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, the same thing right there, the same thing right there, and then, well, we probably remove the London market collapse or economic stimulus. So we gain an effect that gives better production cap, output, and stability, and then well, we restrict some consumer factories and pollute, and pollute power, and uh, then we well establish pro production quotas. For your some pulley power, regain stability. Okay, so it seems like here we remove, remove, um, here we remove consumer goods, but here we remove all the production penalties, which actually seems better. With this, we can actually produce some kind of military army at all, and like factories, units equipment while here we can just build more industry and let's see this one uh, import tariffs or civil service cuts so can you do all of these yeah it doesn't matter which one of these you pick you can pick any one of these yeah okay then we don't have to look at them right now just when we actually arrive there so let's instead begin actually playing the game right now uh, I don't think it was anything else uh, I think the Indian vault had help from France I think I saw some volunteers close to Burma on my side or on their side I'm guessing you said your side because you said Indian Revolt, so we might have to, well, smack some French, well, asses to, well, get revenge for that. But, of course, as we begin the game, <laughs> London market collapse right away, come on. Last week, uh, so terminus five days for London stock market, uh, fueled by fierce shortage of goods and resources due to ongoing revolt in colonial Africa and India. We're done! We're bu aren't we done with both of them? Yeah! It's fine. Why, why, why are you so afraid? We're done with it. Stop it. <laughs> God damn it. What, what do you mean ongoing revolts? Were I too quick? Am I too good at this game? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, following conclusion of the, uh, let's see, um, ongoing revolt in Colonial Africa and India. 
and uh, let's see yeah it appears worse to come following the conclusion of the trial of the ceo of harry group prominent businessman clarence hartley and associate president of all this investigation for crimes of mass fraud and forgery investors confidence so my plummeted mass selling and sh- uh, ensued over the course of today with traders seemingly in a frenzied panic as government scrambles to find a way to prepare for the economic repercussion the effects of the 1936 stock market crash are certain beyond felt britain most of all empire and dominion so minus 50 blue power so we're going to go minus blue power so consume goods factory 50 percent holy shit uh we have minus 10 stability plus 10 police power cost 10 percent more research time factory output minus 50 percent construction speed minus 50 percent efficiency cap minus 50 percent recruit population factory minus 50 percent Oh my god! <laughs> and I just begun this focus, so I can't do anything right now. Which means... Okay, so now I understand why probably you should pick this one. So you can actually produce something rather than just have factories. Yeah, I also actually rather just be able to produce stuff. Uh, we have no civilian factories. We have 104% consumer goods. We have no factories whatsoever. God, I really want to pick this one right now, so we actually have some factories. But yeah, that won't work. Oh my god. Uh, when, how do we remove that one? Is it this? I think so. Yeah, that one removes it completely, but holy crap. Or this one, apparently. That some seems to be a much faster plan, but anyway. Uh, I'm gonna double check all these quite soon but holy shit those modifiers we're at least producing some weapons but it locked at 17.02 percent i can just imagine if we actually had war going on right now and that would have been freaking horrible and we would have been completely screwed trade union demands (laughs) oh you're so funny now gentlemen we can work this out you're so funny little unions and parliaments and stuff like that we're gonna crush you and we're gonna crush you with military force if needed but until then well we'll wait and see so the big thing in is right now we won't be able to increase our well we can increase our manpower law right now but we, it would still not fill the current well what we're currently missing so i think before it ticks down too much i'm gonna disband a couple of my troops uh especially the one with crap experience so we can actually start filling out our other divisions. Uh, let's see. I guess these ones are counted as crap divisions. Together with the cavalry brigades. And uh, then we can just unite these two into one army. And that should help my army well, recover some manpower. Let's see. Now we need... Yeah, about what's, what's remaining to actually fill all our divisions. Okay, that would be pretty good. Hopefully we'll be able to fill them before the demobilization removes everything because i'd rather have 23 full strength divisions than well how many did i have like 35 partly strength divisions so the yarrow march begin as the london crap oh god really even more wow this is not this is not looking good (laughs) and we're doing this bullshit thing right now oh my god (laughs) oh damn it damn it damn it really uh, Chaos and Kiel, the story of Kiel soon have turbulence since uh, inception. Okay, and the leftist revolution. Wait, they're leftist, right? Yeah. Uh, prominent clergymen support uh, marchers. Yeah, of course, of course. Why, why don't you reduce it even a bit more? Please, please reduce it more. I would love that. <laughs> oh my god. It's just completely destroying me right now. <sighs> okay, suppress Max's infiltration. Yarrow March continue to attract public attention throughout the country. We received worrying report. Local free forces officers in the area new elements infiltrating March itself. Spec members of the both British Social Party and Workers in Natural League have apparently been stirring up trouble during the March attempt when Curtin Jones March become more vocal and forceful. Uh, um, let this run its course or it's time to put an end to this nonsense. Sure, I will lose even more political power, but I don't care. We're gonna beat the crap out of this socialist revolution before anything happens. That long overdue. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but 
<laughs> we don't have anything to pay, but directly forward civilian factories, let's make them better and let's begin with some economic stimulus. British media will soon be watching around the empire. A BBC television service launched. Very nice. Somebody power there at least. But yeah, let's begin building up our nation right now. Oh my god. Uh, Ghana wins president of the United States. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, never mind. Uh, so, remove, uh, break up the Yarrow March. So, uh, the morning following the uh, let's see, swell the number of preparation were made to break up March before it could reach the capital. Fierce greater disturbance would occur once they reached the destination. Uh, on order of Scotland Yard successfully, yet somewhat brutally disbanded in March and those forming the core of the March arrested and shipped back to Yarrow. Uh, the more radical elements on March fled quickly as police approached, apparently foreseeing what was to come. Typically, the media has made a large fuss about the entire situation, accusing the government and Scotland Yard of barbarism in the face of peaceful protest. Protest. The government popularity has significantly been damaged by this affair, but we still may avoid something far worse if should allow the march to continue. So we remove the Yarrow Crusade. Nice, nice. That's okay. That actually very, very good. Uh, some more growth in political power. Then but we lose, lost 50 more political power. But yeah, whatever. But it didn't actually see any change in, well, party popularity. So maybe that was just bullcrap te text, more uh, lore rather than actual effect on the game. Uh, so dispersion industry. And by the way, shouldn't we just take control over the television and media right now? Like, the entire nation is com completely destroyed. Maybe we should just, well, take control over that and say, everything is fine. Don't worry about it. It will work out. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's see. They're still missing infantry weapons, but they have the manpower they need at least. So that's good. Uh, fixing it at the air and you... Uh, Air Force, yeah, I want to lose 14 days, of, 14 days of production, whatever. I um, want the anti-tank guns and I want more focus on actually construction right now. And actually, by the way, holy shit, how have I possibly forgotten about the freaking land doctrines? Oh my freaking god, Daniel. You suck sometimes. Yeah, we are basically lost a land focus in time. Oh my god, Crystal Palace fire. Of course, more stuff, more stuff. Uh, Chris Bannon sent a piece of great uh, exhibition of uh, build what, uh, let's see, okay, it does actually nothing, so, well, a crystal palace was fire. Uh, one of the most common buildings in Britain, a building opened by Queen Victoria herself, has been lost tragedy. Horrible, yeah, horrible. Uh, just ignore them, factory strikes, of course, losing even more play power right now. Mine is 200, I expect if I lose too much, then something bad is gonna happen. So, having that, this is actually incredible. I'm always confused when it's, well, when it says pulling power cost plus 10 or minus 10 in focuses because I've noticed that in mods it can mean both increases and reduces. So I don't trust it. Civil War in Brazil, no spell found <laughs> down anymore. Okay, let's see. Union Brazil, like, yeah. Uh, successful policies, a good sign. Nice, thank you. Feasibly power. Ugh. Let's see, establish protein quotas or increase stability first. We do have 42% stability, which I'm kind of fine with. So I'm going to do establish production quotas and then, yeah, create inflation controls. Yeah, before we do any one of these. And then, well, import tariffs. That, that'd be nice. Uh, let's see, how about this? I guess once we have dealt with whatever this is, we will, well, either destroy or form the parliament. Or maybe this will happen during this entire thing. Sinking with the MSHS and another horrible disaster for Britain. Uh, let's see, what is it? Sea trial sank uh, unexpectedly. Many believe to have been an accident. Um, what is it? Uh, it took several hours. Only a few four men reported. Navy submarine headquarters had said, okay, it was a submarine, I guess. Okay. Uh, mm, Alan Turning submits a computable computable numbers com computer machines. What sort of madness is this? <laughs> the turn test. And Hungary declares war on Romania. God, this world is just completely weird if compared with when I played Germany. Everything's to be everything seems to be going a bit more chaotic. Economic stimulants, very good. So we're gonna continue down right here. Wait, we can't do this one. Oh, we need to do quotas before unemployment subsidies. Okay, man, I'm, f I'm completely fine with that. Um, there we go. So that at least helps us a bit, but that's just a bit, and it's only for 355 days. And well, that well, increasably power cost by 10. Yeah. So minus 
0 0.10. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. We need to do it anyway. So, how are we doing with equipment right now? Are we missing? Yes, yeah, 6.6 thousand troops. Uh, can we send any support or anything? No. Seems like Romania will just kill Hungary. No issues right there. Yeah, Romania will definitely kill Hungary. If they don't very suddenly get support from Germany and Italy and everyone else. Uh, let's see. Imperial Conference location. Ottawa or London. And uh, you begin the date of next approaches. While still seven months away, preparations are currently being worked for so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, work so far been focused in London, traditional meeting place of the conference. We have recently been uh, contacted by Dominion Canada regarding a possible change to the Canadian approach that instead of hosting in Ottawa, where it has been secretly working at their own building to host the event. Uh, while this shows you relatively benign, it may so improve the relationship between ourselves and Dominions. So the Imperial talk um, uh, showing that. Th this empire is truly one of equals. Our hosting in London will send a message not only to Dominion but to the world that the British Empire is has but one master. We'll pick London because that is how it's gonna be. Sure, it might actually might have been better for unification reasons that we would have picked it in Dominion Canada, or it doesn't matter. Maybe it's better to pick in Ho London because that proves. Well, we are going to unite the Empire and you're all subservient to the United Kingdom and therefore soon to be integrated. God damn it, it could be read both ways, so I don't know. I don't freaking know. Established broken quotas, very good. Now we're gonna... Oh, we need to go down this way, I guess. Yeah. Okay, we don't have a choice really. It's just pick this, try to fix what a, whatever this is. Industrial sabotage in Ireland. How dare you? Trade union demands. What the hell kind of demands do you have? I'm gonna crack. I'm gonna well, crack your head open and well destroy you if I have to. Uh, while the past few years have been relatively stable for the United Kingdom, many believe that this is built only temporarily. Release extra, uh, release extra police funding or launch political reforms. While political reform may be unnecessary, it can assist in greater, greater leverage political country, allowing for shuffle of cabinet, establish links with more British companies. Right now, it's I think it's fine for me. And I'll try to change as little as possible. So I'm gonna launch, well, political reforms and we'll see what happens. Just to gain that more political power. Because I don't see any issue really with it right now. But I'm not gonna do anything. Uh, local authorities can handle the situation. Wow, Manchester mill workers. It, it's just really a bad day for the British Empire. Holy crap. Everything is just... Everything is bad. <laughs> Every single thing is bad. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Manchester strike expands. It's always trade unions. They're in trouble. Holy crap. Uh, we will definitely have to crush them. Uh, this would be kind of nice. That would be an additional... Well, additional... Uh, I can't count. Actually, only 2% stability. Seven weeks, ten days, two percent ability. Or am I completely stupid? No. Uh, let's see. Manchester strike presents demands. Time to nip this in bud. Accept the demands. Break up the strike by force. Don't even freaking try. We're gonna crush you if you try to do anything. Ice railo bombing. A good sign. Successful policies. Send choosing policies that handling the fixed market long term collapse. They will little way shown result. Okay. So we gain better popularity because we are raising the nation. So maybe some of the events we got was because we were so slow to begin with this. Uh, national uh, natural trade union meets. That's not a good sign. Uh, okay, so we are kind of brutally beating down all the unions. And that's why stuff is happening. Oh, wait. We might actually have with that minus 5% some factories. Nope, nope. We're still 104%. <laughs> oh, my God. We would have been fine if we didn't have... Uh, let's see, this one. Economic stimulus. Uh, trade union demands. Wow, really, we could have picked one of these first. Na nationwide general strike announced. The official that last week's plain union official that we negotiate before it gets out of hand. Order a crackdown on union ati activity. We're gonna crush them. No union shall be active in my nation. Uh, who is justifying against us? Ottoman Empire is justifying against us. Oh, really? Because they want what? 
Oh, because probably they're just fighting against the Jewish Commonwealth, remilitarized Istanbul. So I guess we have a chance of, well, intercepting them. Let's see. Do we have any access to them? Uh, like land access, I mean. And you are guaranteed by me. Uh, so it might actually be a justification against Greece. So I'm gonna, let's see, how many troops do you have right now? Yeah, I'm gonna send my entire army, let's see. We can't ask military access, but then we're gonna send our entire army right here. Come on. ASAP and get down right there. We're gonna take our fleet. Oh god, you're not united. Why are you not united? Group together, let's see. Everyone should be placed in this fleet, so I don't see why. And then send our entire fleet down right here as well, so we can accept any kind of... Well, Navy they might try to use, so yeah. Troops, just get out over there and we'll try. Oh crap, uh, root, uh, rioting nationwide. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a bad event. Follow the order for messenger to launch a crackdown on the and uh, several and breaking up the several planned strikes before it began early yes, this morning. However, words speak of trade union throughout the country. Today, they has erected barricades several imported districts, declare martial law. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> that's not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> and we might get into a war. Hopefully a war that is defensive though. Which will boost stability. But if it's offensive then we go down to zero stability. And we'll probably have a freaking revolt. And me, since I'm sending out my troops right now. Uh, guys, uh, how about at least half of you return. And stay right here. So we can actually maybe do anything. So this is going to find out the government will step down. Uh, despite the declaration of martial law. Governments and royalties have progressed in many areas throughout the nation. Secured additional streets. Uh, let's see. Order the army to do its job. Uh, let's see. Regardless of complication. It was not until this morning events began to be worse. Report and military units have been refusing orders. To put that's really un unrest. Uh, many, uh, in the particular brigade meant to defend the loaning interior, only skin holding back protesters have been able to go on offensive. Unless they change in natu uh, natural strength, uh, national situation, we may face the unrest that we thought unthinkable. It's time to complete make a political statement if we're resolved to crisis. Order the army to do its job. We're gonna crack them down. We're not gonna let this go. Might have been better to just accept anything, but no, 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 no. We are not playing that kind of game. So half, half of the troops get back right here. And uh, let's see, more research, we're gonna do, let's see, we're gonna get, oh wait, actually that's ahead of time. Uh, let's just do the artillery then, and let's half, let's have half the troops that could get back. Come on, hurry the hell up. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> so we actually have a revolt. Uh, the army revolts. Empire Day, yay, Empire Day revolts. Uh, <laughs> a charismatic officer in army storms the parliament with assistance of, uh, of the military. So we had an army revolt, and we are now a military junta instead of social conservatives. I should maybe I should maybe have read the rest of that event. Uh, I'm gonna make a short save right here, actually read the entire event uh, because I expect a civil war to happen. I did not read it properly. Let's see, first of May. Yeah, then we shouldn't have much time to actually wait. Sorry about this, but that seems to be an important event enough. Like, and we're still in charge for that. So I, I'm questioning what the hell did the king do or what happened right now? So just give me the event. There, arm revolt. Uh, disaster struck today as once a loyal collapsed into autumn revolt, joining rioters and protests in London. The revolt took place following the orders to the officer to open fire on the rioters. Upon these orders, uh, troops simply refused to act. When ordered once more to fire on the rioters, many troops deserted and joined the ranks of socialists. With others firing uh, at their own officers. And needless to say, the writers now become more dangerous than we could ever imagine. A major firefights between the loyal units of the army and rioters have taken place out of London. While the remaining loyalist forces have positioned in several important cities across the country, they are heavily outnumbered and struggle so long much longer. Prime Minister Minister, as uh, today's in speech, is now paralyzed in the House of Commons. With this strike begun, you can see that the ridiculous policy of the subject would ever be share the protection of British democracy. Yet here we stand barricaded in now irrelevant House of Commons surrounded by what are military that has remained loyal. In the Grand City and the Centre World, social conservatives run the rampant, destroying centuries of work by some of the greatest minds in mankind, destroying the very weak democracy we preserve and enjoying the very weak demo uh, uh, that is ever right. The very democracy that forms the basic morality and tradition, and yet this day are sitting to destroy this democracy. Uh, let's see. I'll say that, uh, let's see, I'm sure when I say it that we have failed to deliver perfection, but I also must say 
and that they will never get any close to it. Charismatic officer of the army storms parliament with system. So, yeah, we just, well, change to a m military dictatorship. So, we cannot pick this anymore. Okay. So that was not the right path to pick. I was sure that I was gonna get an event that was basically the king, well, the king steps in and... I was sure we were gonna get an event that was basically king steps in and dissolves the parliament for all the bad, uh, bad decisions. Uh, let's see. Uh, thankful the Imperial Federation sub tree under the statue when it's focused in locked by uh, 1937 Imperial Conference event decision. This brute to get your plea of power in charge of. Uh, let's see. Huh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, to get the king in power, you have to try to piss off the strikers as much as possible and make sure Edward VIII stay alive no matter what. You can't go democratic victory and military junta or save the king. Your choice in uh, government does not affect your policy on colonialism. Okay, maybe we just have to continue forward a bit longer and we will get a possibility to dissolve the parliament. Maybe this is just temporarily unlocked otherwise I don't know I'll, I'll have to do some consoling and make sure that we get God save the ki uh, king because he's not assassinated right now he should be fine so I don't know we'll just have to wait and see what happens uh, and it seems like I will no longer need these troops so I'm gonna send down half of them as well but I'm gonna keep well just a very small force right here of well how many troops does it become six divisions I guess that's gonna be fine uh, hopefully, I don't know. I, I did piss off, and it was an upvoted comment, so, and I tried to piss them off as much as possible. So we'll see. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, we're gonna do the... Well, God, I don't want to do that focus. I really want to do that focus, but I really don't. Because, well, carry fighters are so limited in what they can do. Oh, crap, we don't even have trucks. Please get the trucks ready. Oh, my God, I forgot about Great Britain being this stupid. Uh, okay. Portugal still having their weird civil war. It seems like Portuguese Republic is gonna die and the Kingdom of Portugal is gonna succeed. Yes, indeed, and that's great for me, I think. Because we're also gonna be a kingdom. Eventually. We'll see. So we have minus 400 f 452 play power, which is completely crazy. And uh, let's see, is that gonna help me? It's not really gonna help me. We're gonna lose even more play power. Uh, Churchill speaks. Uh, let's see. Oh, Churchill speaks with great pride and commitment to my country. It's it's people that uh, what? Well, with great pride and commitment to my country and its people that I shall lead this brave nation forward with all the strength our nation harbors. Never again shall such a terrible event as those under uh, Manchester ever plague this country again. Under my leadership, all voices shall be heard and all ideas shall be served. We shall create a truly great. A great nation and a great empire. These are the words of the former colonel, now General Jack Churchill. Okay, so not... <laughs> uh, Jack Churchill. It's not called Jack Churchill, right? So suddenly, uh, I'm super confused. No, no, that that's the other Churchill, yeah. Yeah, that fought through the... Yeah, so this is the guy who fought through the Second World War... Armed with a long bow, a long bow, bagpipe, and a basket hilted, hilted Scottish broadsword. It can't be really. It can't be that guy. Come on, really? Who, uh, Colonel? But this guy says Lieutenant Colonel John Malcolm Frobes Fleming Churchill. Fleming, yeah, Frobes, yeah. I really hope that's that that guy. I have a picture of him right there. So, also certain recent. 
Weeks of chaos a nation stepped in with support of the armed forces to restore order in Britain. The military intervention has saved this country from complats in the deadly arms of collectivism. We therefore must thank the honorable men of the high command and seek to repair the divisions created by an attempted revolution. It's time to rebuild Britain and safeguard the people from evil uh, ideologies. Ide ideologies? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see. So, remove civil unrest, which is this one. So we'll finally get some political power. Britain must be protected from revolutionary elements. Thank you. So let's see. And uh, does that unlock anything else? No, not yet. Not yet, at least. We'll see. Uh, so I, can I do this one? Democratic victory? No, not yet. No. Come on. Because I'm not gonna pick anything else than God save the king. He's still alive. He's still alive. So we'll see. Uh, these troops are ready right there. They've re-militarized this and we still have our guarantees on everyone. So Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens quite soon. But anyway guys, I will have to end this episode right now Please tell me if I did anything wrong and how, if I can repair it because I don't have that many outsaves So I probably add a couple more But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see me crying because while well, my nation is ruined and I well Hope you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.